I'm Mari Silby with Light Reading here at the Energy 2020 Plenary Session and now with John Ohm from Eris. Thanks for joining us. Hello. Um, can we start out by talking about what you see as the biggest energy management challenge for the cable industry? I think a couple things we're seeing. In, in the head end space, we have to continually add more capacity to our products and what, what that's doing is, is right, raising the power density of the product. So right. we're trying to get more functionality into the box. Um, so in the head end space, we're really challenged with the, 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 the power density piece of it. Creating more of a need for power in, in yeah. a smaller space. Exactly. Um, the outside plan is one of the biggest consumers of the power. So there we're, we're coming up with new architectures such as uh, fiber deep. Um, that not only increases the capacity of the nodes, um, but also reduces the overall power as well. Okay. So. And and what do you see as the value of the uh, SCTE, ISBE, the Energy 2020 Management team as being to the objectives of the industry and to Eris? I think um, what what this effort has done is really put the energy up on a pedestal for everybody to see. So so our customers, the operators. Um, it makes it more important from their perspective. Um, we're starting to see it, um, um, energy being put into RFPs and RFIs. Um, within, within our company, it, it, um, the energy is becoming a much higher focus. In the past, um, if I go back 20 years ago in docs, it was, it was all about bandwidth, bandwidth, yeah. bandwidth. And, and now, you know, the, we're really limited by the power as to what functionality we can get in there. So, so power has really increased um, within our engineering teams as, as a key priority. And that brings up a good point too, which is uh, what else is Eris doing outside of the Energy 2020 initiative to help build in some of those sustainability efforts and energy management issues uh, into your corporate culture and into your product development? So within Eris, we actually set up a green team a couple years ago and set up targets in a number of different areas. Uh, not only are we, we reducing our energy consumed as a corporation, um, but there's other sustainability uh, pieces that we're addressing, uh, reducing our, our um, um, uh, CO2 emissions, mm -hmm. you know, the greenhouse gas effects, um, we're recycling more, so producing less waste, um, improving our water usage to make more efficient use of water. So, the, so there's a lot of different aspects, and um, most of the targets um, we're exceeding that we've set up. Uh, the team also is um, charged with educating the employees and making the employees aware. So there's been a really big initiative uh, corporate-wide to really make everybody very energy conscious, environmental conscious within Eris. And what about, I know that APSIS has been a big thing for Eris, and you guys were one of the first to show the value of having APSIS compliant uh, products. What's going to be, do you think, the impact of that as those products get deployed into the network? I think um, what we need is to get this across more products, not only in inside the head end, the CMTSs, but start getting it out into the field as well. And as, as we get um, more ability to control the products within the network, um, it's, it's going to translate into energy savings and being able to reduce it. Um, for example, uh, um, our bandwidth usage varies quite a bit by time of day, you right. know, from peak busy hour in the evening and then drops really low overnight. So if we can reduce our power during those low periods, we can get a, a very significant power savings. And so you're talking about some remote management tools that might be yes. able, or some automation tools that might be yeah, able to and help. Yeah, you know, and that's, that's the direction we're heading. Yeah, so. right. All right. Well, good. Sounds like there's a lot of good work going on. It's very exciting. Yes. Thank you. All right.